Welcome to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast with Dat Boy Mo 629. Discussing everything fitness and everything motivation. Here is where you will get your fitness education and motivational fix. Now, here's your host, Dat Boy Mo 629. What's going on, everybody? It's Dad Boy Mo Six Two Nine coming to y'all with another edition of the Starter Own and Finish It podcast. Today we're going to talk about something that's different than fitness. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it's basically I'm just going to talk about. I got two podcasts this week: one Monday, one Wednesday, both being released at 8 a.m. This is Monday release right here. I'm going to talk about uh, Chadwick Bozeman. He uh. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody already know that listen to my podcast knows who Chadwick Bozeman is. If you do not know who Chadwick Bozeman is, he is the actor that played Black Panther. He's the actor that played Jackie Robinson, Jane Brown, Thurgood Marshall, all black um, African-American prominent figures. Brought them to life on the big screen. And I don't think really... One person in particular has done that in the capacity that he has. Denzel Washington is the only person I can really think about that has done it. You know, he played uh, the Hurricane. He played Malcolm X, you know. And um, he played the uh, coach from uh, Remember the Titans. So aside from Chadwick Boseman, I don't really believe there's been another actor that played prominent black figures hell he played jane brown also and even i don't think i mentioned that one but uh yeah chadwick bozeman passed away friday um i believe august 23rd what's today no he did the past friday he passed away and uh it really rocked it really rocked the african-american community and the reason is, I'm going to tell you this right here from the perspective of an African-American that is budding and trying to get into the entertainment industry and trying to uh, start his own brand and everything of that nature. This is the guy, this is a fellow right here. He's young. He's 43 years old. So he's in my age group. I'm 38. He's 43. Five years older than me. And he passed away from colon cancer. And he's had stage four colon cancer, and uh, he's been working through it, actually. He's been working through colon cancer. And the fact that he's been working through, working as an actor, doing interviews, seeing kids and sick kids in the hospital as Black Panther, uh, making appearances for people that wanted to meet Black Panther. This guy has really worked through his pain to bring other people joy. That's pretty much what I want to talk about. You're actually getting goosebumps talking about it. But he worked through his pain to bring people joy. Colon cancer is no joke. That's your intestines. That's your rectal. That's your bowel movements. This guy, man, he really... It, a true testament of the type of person that Chadwick was that really should be honored by anyone who got to know him, anyone who is inspired by him, anyone who uses him as a benchmark of what they should aim for and exceed in life. As far as the industry is concerned, as far as, you know, any type of goal you got. So, Chadwick really, to me, epitomizes what a stand-up guy, a role model, and a pure prime example of what being an incredible human should be. This guy, man, he could have easily, the guy could have easily just said, you know what, I can't do this movie anymore. I can't do these appearances anymore. I can't go see these kids in the hospital. 
I can't do this because of my stomach. You know what I'm saying? Because of my rectum, my rectum, uh, my colon. I can't do this because I'm too tired. I'm too sick. I'm too ill. I'm just not in the mood to do it. You know, I just can't do it. But this guy pushed through as, 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 as much as he could before the cancer really took over his body. And one thing that I'm very, very, very much ashamed of is that uh, when Chadwick showed up on Instagram, I believe in the beginning of the year, uh, to promote the Jackie Robinson. I think it was late last year or the beginning of the year. You know, my time is all messed up this year. But he showed up and he was looking sickly. He was very skinny. And people really couldn't make sense of why he looked that way. Me in particular, I, I I didn't have a good feeling about it. I didn't, I didn't, it really didn't. It's like one of those things where you were like, is he sick? He can't be sick. He's not sick. There's no way he's sick. Otherwise, they would have said something about it. But it it really looks like it was that. He was sick. And there was a lot of people making fun of him, you know, calling him Crack Panther, you know what I'm saying? Saying the crack got to him, you know. And a lot of people that got to Chadwick, man, and he had to take he had to take his uh video down, you know. It was supposed to be an uplifting video about Jack Jackie Robinson. The people was always commenting on his look and the way he looked and all that. I mean, if you would have came out back then and said, Hey man, I got colon cancer, I don't have too much time left, you know, uh and, and this is what it was. Chadwick probably didn't want people to feel sorry for him. So he kept it to himself. His family kept it to their self. And it's like, all right, well, let's keep it a secret because, you know, we don't want people to look at Black Panther the same way people looked at Christopher Reeves. Like, Christopher Reeves got paralyzed, you know. Su freaking Superman got paralyzed, right? So it's like, um, you can't believe it. And... What I want to leave with this right here is that a guy like Chadwick inspires me. He always inspires me, motivates me. You know, he always motivate me. His uh, just what strength he had to go through until the very, very end. It's very inspirational. And you can't deny that. You should not deny that. And uh, I don't even think I'm going to go up in here today, man. This damn chiropractor. Too many people up in here. But, uh, sorry. I'm supposed to go to the chiropractor today, and there's a lot of people in this joint today. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my my, my body ain't really hurting. I was just going to get adjusted, but I'll probably wait the next Saturday or something. I don't know. But, uh, back to Chadwick, man. He is very, he's just an inspirational guy. Black Panther really opened our eyes and united a lot of black people that were not united before. They thought it was Wakanda forever. I swear people thought Wakanda was real. And uh, they thought Black Panther was real. They was hoping it was real. It just goes to show you that type of life, that type of utopia is something that black people would, would actually look forward to instead of what we're dealt with now. They would love that. You know what I'm saying? They would, black people would love a Wakanda. Would love a king like, you know, like Black Panther was, and a hero like Black Panther was, and to see the character behind that just pass away from cancer, man, just out the blue, is a real, real, real blow below the belt, and it's gonna be hard to pick that up, you know, kind of, and then you're wondering, like, okay, what's Marvel gonna do with the character Black Panther really was a staple in the black community so like what are they going to do with the character are they going to bring back the movie are they going to have another character play black panther are they going to keep you know what i'm saying are they going to keep the memory of him alive similar to how they did in fast and the furious we just don't know and also you got to understand you got to you got to think about it like will the marvel slash black panther fans accept it <clears throat> would they want black panther to move on we we'll just leave it at that. Like me personally, I would just leave it at that. Black Panther as it was. No more movies. That's kind of the only thing about Marvel, man. Marvel done with it, if you ask me. Phase 4, as soon as Phase 3 was over with, this Phase 4, whatever it is, I don't. you can't get no better than what already happened. Endgame was it. This sort of new Avengers and, you know, everything else that they're trying to come up with, that's fine and dandy, but... 
You just can't get as emotionally evolved for the next 20 years unless you got a whole new generation of comic book fans that's really trying to get up into it. Uh, especially with the multiverse and Spider-Man. Maybe. Maybe the multiverse and Spider-Man, but it's just... Black Panther, in my opinion, don't need a two at the end. It don't need a three at the end. Don't need a four at the end. The only way you can actually have the Black Panther series keep going is if Michael B. Jordan do a Killmonger series. And that's it. Because people are already attached to Black Panther. So the only way you can do a Black Panther spinoff is if... You do a Killmonger series with him kind of like joining forces with the family of Black Panther. But he's not Black Panther. He's not trying to take the place of Black Panther. He's not trying to do any of that. Because in the comics, Killmonger died and come back to life multiple times. So maybe they can spin it off that way. But back to Chadwick, his life is more, in my opinion, than Black Panther. I mean, he brought to life Jackie Robinson. I remember doing a, uh, a report on Jackie Robinson when I was a kid and everything he went through. Oh, my God. He just... I mean, him doing these roles, man, actually, in the black community, in African-American history, black history, this guy really brought to life. And he will be truly missed. His art as an actor will be truly missed. His articulation as a human being will truly be missed. So, Chadwick, you know, I just want to thank you for your work that you put on this earth for inspiring me, for inspiring others, inspiring little kids, you know what I'm saying, little black kids that, that seen a, a, a hero saying, you know what, well, I can be a superhero. So then after that, that sparked Miles Morales, you know, and Spider-Man actually have a movie, right, on Netflix came out actually in the in the movie theaters and a whole lot of people in all different shades of colors love that movie including myself and it's just it's just it's just a lot man that came out of you being who you are and bringing that character to life and stan lee man bringing that character to life it's just amazing you two guys will be missed i swear uh chadwick stan lee you guys will be missed Thank you, Chadwick, for your 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 presence that you graced us with on this earth, man. So rest in peace, rest in love, rest in heaven, man. So the Dead Boy Mo six two nine coming to y'all with a special edition to start on and finish your podcast. Don't forget to click subscribe. Uh, until next time, which is Wednesday, eight a.m. Start it on and finish it. You've been listening to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Be sure to subscribe to receive new episodes. Link up with Dat Boy Mo 629 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Or visit him at aceonewarrior.com. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it. Finish it.